Okay, in our final video um, about reversible reactions, we're going to look at the effect of changing conditions on the um, reversible reactions equilibrium points. And there's some straightforward rules. Okay, remember that in a reversible reaction, if one of the directions is exothermic and is wanting to give out heat energy, then the reverse direction will be endothermic and want to take in the same amount of energy. So it's really important. It could be either way around. If forwards reaction is exothermic, like in the example in the middle of the slide here, the reverse reaction is endothermic. The rule for temperature is if you increase the temperature, then that favours the endothermic direction. And in this example, that means that the reaction would move left at a greater rate. For pressure, pressure will only apply if everything is a gas. And the rule for pressure is that when you increase pressure, the reaction moves in the direction of fewer molecules. So if there's the same number of molecules on either side, then pressure would have no effect. But in this case, you can see there are two moles on the left side and only one molecule on the right side. So in this case, increasing the pressure would push the reaction towards the right. And finally, remember Le Chatelier's principle. If you remove something, the reaction will change the equilibrium point will adjust to make more of the thing that you've taken away. So in this case, if we take away the N2O4, then the equilibrium position would shift to make more of it. Equally, if I added N2O4 to this system, the equilibrium point would shift to the left and I'd get more NO2. Again, in this example here, uh, which is taken from your textbook, you've got brown and yellow substances. So you would see changes dependent on where the equilibrium position is. So in this example, if you increase the temperature, it will move the equilibrium to the left, the reverse reaction, because that's endothermic. You'd get more NO2 and you'd get more brown coloration. Decreasing temperature would do the opposite and the equilibrium position would move towards N2O4 and it would be yellow. We said pressure moves towards fewer molecules. So if you increase the pressure, the reaction goes to the right, you'd see yellow. If you decrease the pressure, the reaction will go to the left, you'd see brown. So look really carefully when you get these examples. It will be in an unusual context. It won't necessarily be a reaction you've ever seen before, but you must be able to apply these rules and apply them to the reaction you're given to talk about.